Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan uh, from OptionTiger.com and in this video, I want to do a slightly longer term analysis on the S&P. As you can see, we've been having very highly volatile days. In fact, yesterday was a massive day up uh, based on the Fed's uh, dovish uh, approach to interest rates and so the, the S&P went up 61. So in this kind of an environment, it's hard to make sense of whether the market seems to be recovering from uh, these lows or is there more downside and one of the kinds of analysis that is useful in this kind of a scenario is to look at where are the strong zones whether it's support or resistance and um, the way we do that is uh, there's a study called volume profile so because as you can see there's there's quite a bit of choppiness all the way here of course there's a nice trending area from here to here but at the beginning of the year 2018, we had some serious choppiness and we're seeing the same kind of choppiness here now. So under studies, if you go and uh, look at volume profile, I'm going to turn this on now. Say show study. Apply and OK. So now this picture gives you a much more clearer view of where these clusters are, whether it's a support or resistance cluster. It tells you. So what this is, is these two lines are, they cover 70% of all the volume that happened in this time frame. And then as you can see, the biggest cluster is right here. And in fact, as you can see, today's uh, pre-market, we're down nine points after being up 60 points yesterday. And we are right at that cluster right there. And so this is going to be a battleground. And the way we have to look at it is since this is the biggest amount of volume going on here, I'm going to do a little drawing and to show the cluster areas of support or resistance. So here we go, if we do this, and let's say this is the zone where we have some serious battle going on. Now, if you look at previous uh, points in the chart, you can see that once again, here we have, uh, this, is, uh, this, this was an area of uh, uh, support and resistance, uh, basically a battle zone, it's a battlefield. And similarly, you'll see that uh, there's one here as well, where price seems to be consolidating or just going flat rather than uh, making any kind of a move. There is definitely, you can uh, go back somewhere here, up until here at least. I think uh, you can say that there is uh, some kind of a cluster here as well. So if the S&P manages to break out here, then the next big clusters are, are coming right here. So which would, which would be, uh, I would say this one right here and to some extent uh, these two as well. So just a small cluster there. But once again, we have uh, that. And then once we cross this, then you can see it's a, it's a smooth way all the, all the way up here. So we actually happen to be in right in the middle of, of the biggest cluster of volume in the past one year. And so my sense is yesterday after we had such a big day, we might see some uh, a, a flattish to maybe even downish days uh, over the next, uh, uh, next week or so. And uh, then it remains, of course, to be resolved whether it's going to go to the upside or downside. There's the G20 meeting coming up and uh, the trade uh, discussions between US and China are pivotal to how the markets are going to behave in uh, December. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that as well. But as it happens, we, we seem to be in the highest cluster of volume of activity as far as the S&P is concerned. Thanks.